coronal incision. You see it? Yeah. So we're going to cut it and we're going to make sure that our fingers are not here in case the scalpel slips and uh, you lose them there. So you're going to look halfway between the, the, the width of the uh, heart and you're going to cut down. The gland above the heart is the thymus, not the thyroid, thymus, T-H-Y-M-U-S. This gland is important in fighting disease, immunological. Then we're going to peel back this membrane. What is this membrane? Pericardium. pericardium. Which one? The parietal. Parietal pericardium. Great. Very tough membrane. Um, if you notice, extremely tough, right? Look. But now, if you notice too, if I pin this this way, hello, you can barely see it, right? Like this. And it's always the first thing that goes through the pin that you're going to be responsible for. On the heart, if I pin a vessel that is blue or green or whatever, then that vessel would be the coronary vein. Coronary if vein. I pin a red one, coronary, the artery. coronary artery. If I pin somewhere totally random away from these vessels and I pin it this way, then I want the heart. I don't think I'll put myocardium, but it will be the heart. Okay, on the outside of the heart, just like in us, there is an extension, uh, an ear-like appendage. Remember the ear-like appendage? Yes. Yeah. There it is. Do we remember the name? That's yeah. what an A. Uh, oracle. The oracle. This is the right oracle. <clears throat> Underneath it and to the left is the you got to peel it back or else it will not let you do it. The left oracle, do you see it? Can you show it this way? <clears throat> when you open, so when you open, uh, don't waste time on this, but try to remove some of this caked in blood. Over here you can see very nicely in, in the top one. Just to give you an idea of what we're doing here. This chamber, right atrium. And so is this one over here. Do you see it? Yes. Right atrium, right atrium. Left atrium, left atrium, much smaller. Remember, if I were to stick this in here, I would be affecting or going into the oracle. Do you see it? because the atrium, the oracle, is an extension of the atria, right? Okay, then over here, right ventricle, and over here, right ventricle. Over here, left ventricle, and over here, left ventricle, because it flips over, right? So you're looking at left ventricle here. One of the things that I like to do to make sure that you know what you're doing is um, separate the heart, open it up, and then pin. I could pin this way or this way. And you know that that way would be left ventricle. Right here is the septum between ventricles. Interventricular Inter septum. septum. Over here, septum between the atria. Interatrial Inter septum. septum. And over here, beautiful septum between atrial ventricular atria septum. Atria and ventricle atrioventricular septum. And if you're super careful, you'll be able to clean this out, the chordae tendineae. Do you see the little, yeah. Yeah. the little cords? They are very delicate. I can't, I can't quiz that. I don't think I can quiz that. But be aware that it exists or test it. Okay, now, we're going to look at, who left? Everybody okay? The left lung, I'm going to peel it back. And we're going to look at this fascia-like structure. And we see that this vessel is right here. You see that vessel? That vessel is the largest, most superficial. That is going to be pulmonary vein. Technically, that vessel should have died red. It's the only time that a vein is carrying highly oxygenated blood. 
came from the lungs, goes back to the heart to go out to the body, correct? Yes. Well, we're going to have to peel it. Should be red, although in every mink I've seen so far is blue or dark green. Next to it, it's a deeper, bluer one. If it's deeper, if it's smaller, if it's next to it, pulmonary artery. Pulmonary artery. As I peel back, I want to come across these structures and great blur out. Do you see the blur right here? What kind of blur is this? It's visceral. In fact, as I peel this back, you'll see that the that the um, the um, the lungs have like a spongy feel, a more spongy feel to them. Um, so I'm going to peel it. And what I'm looking at, who can tell me? Bronchi. Yes, bronchi, not bronchioles. Excellent. And you feel it, you'll feel the ridges that you feel on the trachea, the C-shaped um, cartilage. Okay? Now we're going to go to the top of the heart, and this is the hardest part. On the top of the heart, you're going to take some of the membrane from the parietal pericardium, just cut it ever so slightly, because we want to expose the blood vessels. Anybody have another probe? Vena cava, superior vena cava. You see it? Looking at the heart, it's hard to divide because the uh, aorta is attached to the pulmonary trunk, is it not? Yes. By way of the, do we remember, what attached <coughs> the aorta to the pulmonary trunk? What ligament? The bustle. No. So the ligamentum arteriosum, and that's why it's united. So I'm separating it. Those of you that are near me can see it. If I pin, I want to pin in the middle right here. Right there is the ascending aorta. And next to it is pulmonary trunk. So right here, ascending aorta. Over here, pulmonary trunk. You're looking... If I pin, who's out there? Aortic arch. Who's it? Right here, aortic arch. I'm still here on the pulmonary trunk. <clears throat> aortic arch, pulmonary trunk. Do you see it? It's right branching here. off right yeah, here. I, I didn't see it earlier. Yeah. Ours is huge for such a small name. It is very nicely defined. It looks smaller on the other one. Okay, Sibirina cava. Mm -hmm. Ascending aorta, so it first comes out of the heart. Yeah. Over here, aortic arch. And this one, pulmonary trunk. Sibirina cava, ascending aorta, aortic arch, pulmonary trunk. And then over here, beautiful pulmonary vein. So let's, so that we don't, you can really see the sponginess here. You see this one? Bright, bright blue. You see it? It's That's the, the artery. 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 So the darker now. blue will be the vein. Darker and blue the, or red the will be the vein. Darker blue will be the vein. And then the bright, bright blue is the, the artery. artery. You can see them here, too. They branch throughout the whole lung. Nice pleura. You see it? Once you peel the pleura, it's almost like if the integrity of the lungs are gone. This does not look the same. Yeah, it does. Or it have... Kind of disintegrated. Exactly. And it will disintegrate easily because the fact that it is so porous. Okay? There you go. And if you feel it, you'll feel the ridges.